The 53-year-old Alligator River Bridge, which carries US-64 between Dare and Tyrrell counties, is getting a tune-up, and these guys are the mechanics. Armed with blow torches and drills, they're rehabilitating the equipment that opens the swing bridge so boats along this popular maritime route can pass safely through. That includes replacing the aging pivot and some of the gears and shafts. We're also replacing the balance wheels that essentially act as training wheels that kind of keep the bridge balanced as it's going through its opening and closing. The work is greatly needed. On average, the swing bridge opens about 500 times per month. During peak boating season, that number jumps to 1,200 times per month. After such heavy use over five decades, the equipment is simply wearing out. Very similar to your car. You drive a car 100,000 miles, you know you're going to be replacing some axle bushings, some bearings, uh, new tires, new wheels, those type things. We're doing the same type thing here. By doing preventative maintenance now, NCDOT hopes to avoid closures due to equipment breakdowns in the future. Crews are making progress on this project. They plan to complete the rehab work and reopen the bridge to traffic on Sunday, April 14. To get regular updates on the project, visit the project website, follow NCDOT on Twitter, or like us on Facebook.